Hi everybody, I'm Judy Tuttle from Tuttle Up Stamping. I'm an independent Stampin' Up demonstrator in Lincoln, Nebraska. And I am going to take um, a second to make sure that my computer is all set up and ready to go so that we can interact together as I stamp with you tonight. Um, I'm so excited to be with you. I love being able to come on on Monday nights and tell you things that are going on in my world and stamp with you, which is the favorite thing, right? Um, I don't know if you guys, hi Jenny, hi Kay, thanks for watching. I don't know if you guys saw my video last week where I showed my swaps, but I got some pretty fabulous swaps when I was in St. George and those were fun um, to share with all of you. So I hope you enjoyed that. I have a really cute fun fold card to show you tonight using the Happier Than Happy stamp set and dies. It is a favorite in the new annual catalog and I hope you love what I'm going to create with it. I think you will. Hi Arliss, thanks for joining us. Um, okay, so first of all, let me tell you some things that are going on as far as events and then I'll get right to stamping as soon as possible. The big deal is that I'm having a creative carnival. It is on June the 25th from 9 a.m. to 7 p.m. It will be at the Elks Lodge Conference Center here in Lincoln, Nebraska. Um, the cost includes two stamp sets, paper embellishments, uh, ribbon, everything to make the cards, but lots of extra stuff as well. Breakfast, prizes, games, treats. Um, it's going to be a great day. Um, this event is only in person at this point, but I plan on doing some to-go boxes soon and putting that out there. If you are not a part of my email list, you're missing lots of information about upcoming events. So if you would like to be on my email list, just PM me above and I would be happy to add you to my list so that you know what's coming on. Okay, so that's the big deal. This event, um, the registration will close this weekend because I need time to get everything ordered and together. I already had three people uh, register today or in the last couple of days, so I'm super excited about that. I am having a class with the Cheerful Basket Project class. Uh, the Cheerful Basket stamp set is a stamp set that is in the new annual catalog. It makes a basket, it makes a 3D basket, uh, has this cute little kitten you can put different. These are apples, obviously those are hearts, but they have stuff for crafting, they have stuff for winter. It's, it's a really cute little bundle. So if you would like to come um, to this class, either in person or get it to go, um, it is $25 plus shipping if you're getting it to go or free with a $30 purchase. So that will be a fun uh, class. That is not listed here when it is, but it is July the 9th. I decided to give us, you know, 4th of July off that weekend. July the 9th from 10 to 12 here at my house, or you can get it to go, either one. Um, if you would like a link to the registration for that event, I would be happy to get that to you. Also, you should know, I am leaving for Florida in two days. Um, we leave Wednesday morning and we come back the next Wednesday morning. Now, let me tell you a little bit about this trip. Hi, Roz. I am able to take my entire family to Florida for a week vacation because Stampin' Up! had to cancel um, the incentive trip that the top 1% in the company earn every year. And I, um, they had to cancel it because of COVID, right? Um, well, they didn't have to maybe, but back last year, back in September, it looked pretty bleak still as far as COVID and the cruise industry was concerned. So they gave us a very nice payout. And right away I said, hi, Sue, thanks for coming. Right away I said, I wanna do something for my family with this money. So I messaged them all and said, would you rather go to the beach or would you rather go to the mountains? Now to me, I love both of them equally, um, but it was almost unanimous that everybody wanted, wanted to go to the beach. So we are going to Miramar Beach in Florida it's in the panhandle between Destin and Panama City. 
We have a beautiful condo there. Um, and what a joy it is for me to be able to provide this for my family for vacation. I'm just so excited and just so honored um, that Stampin' Up! is allowing me to do this for my family. It really is a, a joy. So I'm having a sale. Well, it's not really a sale. It's not a sale. It's a mystery box bonus for the next week. And here's how it works. If you spend $50, you're going to get a box of product that might be retired, lightly used, but over $30 worth of product. New paper, new ribbon, that sort of thing, okay? Um, maybe not fresh new in the annual catalog, but still very, like, I have lots of, lots of extra stuff, right? Also, um, if you spend then 70, you get a little bit more. If you spend 100, you get a little more. If you spend 150, you get more. I can't wait to put these mystery boxes together for you guys who support me while I'm on my little trip. Uh, I sent out an email about that today, a second newsletter, my weekly newsletter that goes out on Tuesdays. There'll be more information in there about that as well. If you're not part of my email list, you really need to be a part of it because that's where I um, talk about all my upcoming classes and specials, uh, my own specials that I have um, coming out. Okay, so I'm so thankful for one other thing. I'll have to tell you guys. Last week, a group of us went to St. George, Utah. It was a trip that was hosted by Rhonda Wade, who is my mentor and my trainer, and a lot of ladies that she trains. And there were 90 of us there. That's where I got all those amazing swaps, right? But guess what? Over 30 women got COVID from that event. And I'm so, so thankful that I did not get it. I tested three times. I sat right next to a couple of ladies at dinner. Um, I don't know how I dodged that bullet. I really don't know how, but I'm so excited that I did and that I will be healthy um, to take this trip. Um, my friend Jenny said God was watching over me and I really think he was because um, I was in very close contact with a lot of the women who um, ended up getting COVID. So uh, I'm so thankful that I'm healthy and that I'm going to be able to go on my trip to Florida without worrying about getting anybody sick. Hi, Renee. Thanks for watching. Okay, so I'm so excited about all of those things. If you have any questions about the events coming up, or again, if you are not on my email list, I would love to get you on my email list. So then you have the first shot and you know um, right away things that are going on in my Stampin' Up! business that you can be a part of, okay? All right, I am going to turn my camera down. This is always a little awkward, so um, give me just a second. I'm going to flip things around and down. There we go. Hopefully you can see my uh, work area here. This is where you can shop with me. Uh, if you type in TuttleUpShop.com, it'll take you right to my Stampin' Up! shopping page. And let me uh, pull this down just a little bit. I can tell on the screen. And this is the host code that you need to use, especially in the next week if you want to be a part of that mystery shopping special um, because that host code allows me to get more things um, to give away to you, okay? All right, so... This is the Happier Than Happy stamp set. It's so much fun. All these forest friend animals, you get some mushrooms, acorns, butterflies, you get leaves, you get trees, some really cute fonts on these sentiments here. It's a little thing of dirt, a little tree stump, right? An owl. Um, and then you get all of these dyes that cut all, it cuts out a bunch of leaves, acorns. Look at all these leaf dyes and things. So it is such an awesome stamp die bundle, and it's 10% off if you buy them together. Okay, now with that sweet is this so, so fun. It's called Happy Forest Friends Designer Series Paper. I'm going to just show you some of the prints. Here's just a fun forest print has a gray kind of crosshatch on the back. Here's some mushrooms. My friend Jill loves the mushrooms. And we have a beautiful 
DSP that's coming out in celebration that Jenny and I were playing with last night. And it's got a lot of mushrooms in it, too. A little funkier than these. But, um, okay, we're going to use that tonight. That is a little coral with some hearts on it. Here's a so saffron. Um, here's like a forest scene, right? Um, let me keep going here. Um, here's another fun one that has that gray on the back. Here's those mushrooms again. I want to make sure we see all, so here's the forest scene. So imagine cutting this into little parts, right? You can use all these little pieces on different on different cards and it'll all look a little bit different um look at this really fun kind of birch tree design um that'll make the cute background here's some leaves uh, i love how they've scattered the little mushrooms and flowers down in here here's just a leaf pattern um i think this is super cool i didn't even notice this today these circles that kind of look like wood but they're almost stitchy looking right um, that's a word, stitchy, stitchy looking. Oh, fun, Roz. Um, I hope you had fun with it. I hope you like what I did with it today. I would love to see what you did. And then this is fun. You know, this is really great, especially for baby cards, I think. Look at this, um, little cross, uh, V design on the back there. Um, anyway, the colors that are in this DSP are... Um, basic Gray, Blushing Bride, Calypso Coral, Mossy Meadow, Old Olive, Sahara Sand, Smoky Slate, and Soft Suede, and So Saffron. So the colors I'm going to use on my card tonight are going to be Cajun Craze, Calypso Coral, Soft Suede, Gray Granite, and I thought I had Sahara Sand here too. Do I need to grab that? I might need to grab that from behind me here. All right, so let's get started. How would you like to do that? Okay, so I'm gonna make a fun, fun fold card. A fun, fun fold card. Um, all fun folds are fun, aren't they? <laughs> I think so. Okay, so what I did is I took a piece of Sahara sand paper here and I cut it at five and a half by eight and a half. So I just cut a sheet of cardstock in half, scored it down the middle at four and a quarter, and then I scored it down the middle of the middle at two and an eighth, okay? So this is gonna create, you would fold it in half, that's the normal card, but then we're gonna fold this flap back on itself, right like that, okay? Then, I cut a piece of that mushroom paper. Both sides are adorable. We're gonna actually use both sides. Um, and this is cut four by five and a quarter. And I'm gonna go ahead and attach that right here to the inside of our card base, okay? So let me get my glue working here. This always happens to me on Facebook Lives. I need a little poker to be right here so I can sometimes I just get upset and just throw it off to the side. Let's see if I can get it to go here. Okay. We're going to just give up on that one right away. Let's pull out the other one. I need to have a uh, like a pen or something sitting right here. See, now this one had no trouble at all. Um, all right. So this is that cute little mushroom pattern. I think it's adorable. What we're going to make tonight is a baby card. I have, um, actually have a young woman at our church that is expecting and she is using Forest Friends as her nursery. I think it's a very popular nursery theme right now. So there we go. Now, for these front two panels here, I have cut two pieces of soft suede, and I'm gonna use the back side of that mushroom pattern and use these little hearts that are Calypso Coral. Okay, so each of these panels here are two and an eighth by five and a half. So I cut these uh, soft suede a little less than two and an eighth, so about two, and then a little less than five and a half, so like 
uh, five and three eighths, okay? So I cut two of those panels and we're gonna put them right here on these front two panels, okay? So I'm gonna, <laughs> I know Jenny, you told me that. <laughs> when Jenny gets mad at her, her uh, liquid glue, she just cuts the tip off and just does away with it. She's like, enough of this nonsense. I think that's hilarious. Um, okay, and then I'm gonna do the same thing with this panel. Again, this is soft suede five and three eighths by two and an eighth. I think that's what I did on those. Okay. And then I've got these DSP panels. Let's see. I cut this one and seven eighths by five and a quarter right there. We're going to put that on the front right there. Okay. And then got another one here that I'm going to put right next to it. Okay. Here we go. This is one of my favoriteest fun folds. Favoriteest, most favorite. Okay. There we go. Got a little bit of adhesive right there on the front side. I'm going to erase that off. There we go. All right, so there is my basic card base, okay? I'm going to put that to the side. Just a tip, put a tea pin in the cellophane wrapper that is around the bottle. And oh, oh, that's so smart, Arliss. Thank you for that. I think I'll do that. I love that idea. Okay, so I'm just going to set this aside uh, for right now, and I'll come back to that, okay? Now, I have cut now a piece of... Um, gray granite and this is cut seven and a half by four and a quarter I'm pretty sure it's four and a quarter let me double check that yep four and a quarter and then I scored it at two and a half and five so now I have three panels that are two and a half by four and a quarter okay three of them so again this is four and a quarter by seven and a half and then I cut, I scored it at two and a half and five, okay? So now, I have three panels that are two and a half by four and a quarter. I cut three pieces of cardstock and soft suede here. I'm gonna go ahead and put two of them on. This one I'm gonna wait for just half a second. I'm gonna put this on right here. And this is two and three eighths by four and an eighth. It's the size of these soft suede panels. Okay. Now this one, the front one, I cut out of one of the pieces of the designer series paper. I wanted this greenery at the bottom and the little flowers showing a little bit of that blue tree and some of those birch trees. So this is gonna go right here on this panel. And this is gonna be on the front right here, okay? Now the reason why I haven't adhered that on quite yet is because I'm gonna wrap some linen thread around it here. So, got some linen thread, and I'm going to wrap it around my panel a couple of times, and then, do any of you have a hard time finding the end to this? Arliss, do you have a trick for that? <laughs> I just keep cutting it at random places so that I can keep it going. I am not a neat freak. Jenny can attest to that. My friend Jenny, who's been in my craft room when it's a hot mess more than one time in my life. Um, so little things like whether I can find the end of the ribbon or not don't really stress me out. I just keep on going. Um, 
I just keep cutting until, you know, <laughs> I find an end that I can use. <laughs> I know it's such a cute panel. I'll show you what I cut it out of. Um, I needed a piece that was two inches by four inches. Okay, here. I cannot talk and answer comments and tie a bow at the same time. Okay, there we go. I'm going to pull that a little smaller. And do you see how this um, linen thread is just a little bit loose here? Um, what I'm going to do is turn this over, and I like to like watch this. this is very technical. I like to scrunch it in like this and take the slack out, and then I grab a piece of tear and tape and hold it in place. So let me grab that. I don't know if you guys have ever had projects where you just can't seem to get the ribbon tight on it. This is my trick that I use. Scrunch it up tape it down and we've got a good tightness on that ribbon right there. Okay, I'm going to cut these ends off a little bit here. Like that. Okay, now I'm going to put this on the front now that I have that ribbon, that linen thread tied there. Okay, and do you know what I think I'm going to do? I think I'm going to put another piece of this tear and tape. It still feels a little loose. Um, so I'm going to put another piece right here, and since I know what I'm doing, I know that this is not going to show here in just a minute. Okay? All right. I get that. Okay, now I'm just going to glue this down on the front panel here of my card. Okay? Right like so. Okay, so this piece right here came from, let me show you, um, this DSP right here, this paper, and I just cut this panel like right here. Um, see where the little mushrooms and leaves and all that? I just cut the panel right out of that spot because it had a little bit of the greenery, a little bit of the calypso coral in it, and the trees in the background, okay? Now, I can for sure put this piece of DSP right here because um, nothing's going to go right here. So I'm going to go ahead and get that down on there. All right. Now I've got some actual stamping to do. Isn't that cute? Um, in this case, the bride, the bride, the mom doesn't know if it's a boy or a girl, so I wanted it to look kind of generic, um, so that's fun. Okay, so now this piece, I'm going to use my soft suede ink, and I'm going to use the sentiment that says, happier than happy for you, right here. I'm going to stamp it right up here at the top. Right like that. Cute, huh? Okay. Now I can put this one down, and I'm going to build something up on the bottom here in just a minute. So let me glue this white panel right down there. Adorable, huh? Okay, so this is going to be... My, in, my inside panel. We're going to make a little Z fold here. Okay, so now I'm going to set this aside. And I have a plain white piece of paper right here. And I'm going to start stamping all my parts that I'm going to die cut out. Um, so I'm starting with soft suede. And I'm going to do my tree trunk in soft suede, so I'm gonna just stamp it right there. Look, I love I love the distinctive design of these stamps, because do you see how it just automatically does um, outlines and shading? It's just so pretty, I love that. Okay, so that's gonna be my tree trunk. Um, I'm also going to do some dirt, and let me see if I can grab my Sahara sand back here. There 
that is what this little piece is right here. It's just some dirt. Oh, I'm going to try that again. I hit, I hit it on my finger. I could tell it wasn't going to come out well. There we go. Love that. And then I'm going to do my owl. And I'm going to do a little something special with the owl here. I'm going to start by inking it up in Calypso Coral. Okay. But then I'm going to take a little Cajun Crace and add a little bit darker color right here at his little wing and maybe up here around his head just to give him some little shading so let's see how that turned out there ah love it isn't that cute okay so the next thing before i put this cajun craze i'm sorry this um calypso coral up I'm gonna go ahead and stamp my Hello Baby on here. Okay, right like that. And what do I have left here? Um, the bear. And my bear is gonna be, he is so cute. These little, these little critters are just adorable. I'm gonna do him in the gray granite, okay? Tap, tap, tap. And I'm going to stamp him right. Ah, so cute. Love it. Okay. So, let's put all our ink pads away for just a moment. I'm not sure we're going to need it until I get to my envelope. Okay. So, here are my parts. I'm going to take out my dies. And I am very sad that the magnetic plate is being recalled. I don't know if you guys know that or not. Um, but mine is held up just fine, unfortunately. But they've had some people who are saying theirs have come apart. Um, I believe them. It just makes me really sad. So the nice thing about this magnetic plate was is that it's a solid service of magnets. So it will hold. So I'm going to use a little tag right there for the Hello Baby. Um, I'm going to use uh, not that tree trunk. I want to use the outline of the tree trunk. And I thought we had a die for the dirt, but maybe we don't. Maybe I'll just have to fussy cut that out. Or I could just stamp that right on my card as well. Maybe that's what I'll end up doing. Okay, so I'm going to take this going to run it over here through my die cutting machine. Okay, so if you haven't bought a die cutting machine yet, did you know Celebration is coming around here at the beginning of July, July and August, and for every $50 you spend, you get something for free out of the Celebration, and I love our Celebration this time around. So if you're thinking about investing in a die cutting machine, celebration would be a great time to do that. Here's my trunk, here's my little owl. Um, hello baby, right there. Um, and you can get two free things out of the celebration catalog, right? But also, Celebration is always a great time to join a team. And I would love to have you on my team because my team is awesome. And um, if you join a team, then you get the support from the team leader, who would be me. But you also get to be a part of a community of people who get you as far as stamping is concerned, which is always fun. Um, Oh, bummer, Roz. Well, I'm just so sad because I just really wanted this magnetic plate to work, but it just didn't do it, did it? Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and take my dirt here, go back to my dirt, and I'm just going to stamp it on um, the panel right here. Right down. There we go. Okay, whoo, that made Jenny nervous because she hates to stamp after something's been glued down. <laughs> I could hear you, Jenny. I could hear you um, 
sweating it there. Okay, so this little tree trunk is gonna go right here. I'm gonna use my liquid glue for that. And then my owl, it looks like it slipped a little bit in um, the die, so I'm just gonna trim off the excess white here. So it's not so, has such a heavy white edge on it. You can always fix things if they are not right. Okay, so this little bird, this little owl's gonna go right here on our little tree trunk. Right there, so fun. Okay, now our bear is going to go right here on the front, and it's going to be okay that he hangs off the edge a little bit there um, because um, the other part of the card will um, take care of that. So I'm going to grab some dimensionals and let's just use the little edges here. Do you guys use up all the edges? I use up every single little piece I possibly can of my dimensionals, um, especially the edge pieces, okay? There we go. Definitely know that this foot is gonna be on the card. Um, yep. And let's just go like that. Okay, I'm going to peel all the backings off here. So, we're actually going to drive to Omaha tomorrow night and spend the night in a hotel because our flight leaves at 6 a.m. on Wednesday morning. So, much better. We can get up at 4.30 instead of 3.30. So, that is fun. So, I like that a little bit of this flower is showing um, off to the side of him here. It brings that Calypso coral in. So I'm just going to put him right there. So cute, right? Hello Baby is going to go right up here. And I'm going to take another little piece of this linen thread. And I'm just going to tie it in a knot. I like that the hole. <laughs> You're glad you didn't have to take me to the airport at 3.30 in the morning, Jenny. Yeah. I don't think I would do that to even my worst enemy. So <laughs> um, that is a lot to ask of anyone. Um, but we'll meet my son Carson and his wife Natalie there. And then we will fly to Dallas. And then when we're at the Dallas airport, we meet up with the rest of the family, Kristen and Ryan and the two grandkids, Lucy and Lincoln. And then we have one whole glorious week together in Miramar Beach. I'm so excited. Um, we're getting family pictures taken on the beach on Thursday um, at sunset. So we've been kind of trying to coordinate our outfits on that. Okay, how cute is this? Do you guys love that? All right, so I'm just going to stick this right up here in this top corner. <laughs> well, I would not do that to you, Jenny. I abuse you enough in other ways. Okay, how cute is that? Isn't that fun? Okay, so happier than happy for you. And then this piece is going to go inside of this piece just like that. And there's magic to this. So I want to make sure that this edge and this edge are pretty much the same distance so it's it's centered pretty well and then I'm going to pull this over and I'm just going to put glue right on this very edge right here okay just don't want to get glue too far because you don't want this to glue down and then I'm going to flip this whole thing over right like that and I'm gonna put glue on this black back panel. And then I'm gonna press this down. Hold it for just a moment here. 
and then the magic will happen. Okay, so then looky here. Ah, oh, isn't that cute? It's a little Z fold card. So cute. They can put it on their baby's dresser forever. I love that. Isn't that fun? Now, if it were me, I would add a white panel to the back side here. Right here. And before I adhered it, I'm gonna take my fox and stamp him on the back side. And that is where I would sign my name in the card. So cute, right? Okay, so let's put this on the back here. Thanks, Debbie. So Lucy has already decided, I think, what she wants to watch with me on the plane on the way to Florida. We're just gonna have such a great time. How can you not have a great time with your whole family on a beautiful beach, right? Okay, so that's fun. Now, I thought of this. Why don't I add a little color to my envelope? So here's my envelope. I'm gonna take that paper that has the, you could really use any of them, but I think I'm gonna use the one that has the mushrooms on it right here. And this is what I do. I just slide this under. I take a pencil and I just very lightly pencil around the envelope. Right like that. I'm gonna take my scissors and cut this out right inside that line. Okay, then I can adhere this right on the flap of my card there. Now, if it is a little bit too big, I can always, um, or too little, I can always shore that up by um, trimming it a little bit more. This is the one that wasn't working. Here, let me grab my other one. You could really use either side of that if you wanted to, but I'm gonna use this side. Probably a good idea to get your edges Really good there. Okay, so it'll close like that. Isn't that cute? And then on the front here, I'm gonna stamp that fox one more time. Hi, Jackie. Nice of you to come watch tonight. You'll have to watch replay because we did some fun fun folds here. There we go. How cute is that? And it address it right there. It will be adorable. So here was our Z fold card using the happier than happy stamp set. I love it. And it will just all fit inside this envelope. I'll be it. It will be a little thick. So you might want to either put it in a bubble envelope or add a lot of extra postage to it, right? Um, so I hope you guys love this tonight. I love this stamp set. I love this bundle. I think you should get it. You won't be sorry. Just think of all the adorable cards. Now, what else can you do? There's a welcome. So that could be like a new home, maybe, or welcome to the team. There's a thank you. Um, happier and then you got acorns and butterflies and mushrooms and all kinds of fun things. So I am gonna lift this back up and flip everything back around. And I have to tell you, I'm not gonna be here next Monday because I'm gonna be in Florida on the beach. So thank you so much for coming to watch me tonight. 
Think about ordering with my mystery box special. If you want to be a part of my email list, let me know that in the PM above, and I would be happy to add you. So God bless everybody. I'll see you after Florida's over. Bye-bye.